All right, so last time I generated these models inside of my Jupyter Notebook. Now what I want to do is I want to save them to a file and then load that file back into my grocery store application so I can start making better um, ad choices. Okay, so I'm going to head over here to my notebook and the code I can just copy. I can copy this over into, um, into my Flask application. The real trick though is I have this dictionary of these three different models. How do I save that? So I'm going to head down here and uh, let me just again, right? Models is what we want to try to save. And remember that we've done things before like this. We'll do something like um, object equals json.load. And I have some file here. Or I might do it in the other direction. I could say json.dump. And then I would say um, object and then some file like that. Um, it turns out that if I import pickle, I can use pickle in the same way. So I'm going to say pickle. So JSON like this. And so right now I'm trying to save these models. So I want to do a dumping. And then uh, in, my, uh, in my grocery application, my actual Flask website, then I'm going to do this. Okay, so what is the object I want to do? It is my dictionary of models. And I have to have some sort of file here, right? So I should open that. I should say op with open. And maybe I'll just call this uh, models.pickle uh, as f. I want to write my models there. So let me try that. File not found. It's complaining it's not found because I'm not writing it. So I'm going to write it. OK, another issue. It doesn't take strings. It takes just straight up bytes. So I need to do wb. And so if I head over here now, I have this models.pickle. And if I look at it, I can't even see it, right? Because it's not text, it's just plain bytes, right? But I saved that file. And so presumably that thing has some, uh, presumably it has some models in there, right? That dictionary of models I have. So let me try this. So I'm just trying to call this as like a, a kind of a example. Um, could I load that back in, right? If I, if I then try to read this thing like that, could I load in? Right now I'm reading bytes instead of writing them. Could I do that? And then I could say example. And I can. And it turns out example looks a lot like um uh looks like a lot like my original dictionary, right? So I was able to put this out and then bring it back in over here. Now I, I have no need to read it back in because I already have it in, in this um notebook, but I'm gonna definitely want to do that over in my um over in my grocery store application, right? So I'm gonna save, I'm trying to open this up here. I'm going to call this models. And, uh, and then I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to copy in these two functions I have that tell me, well, how likely is somebody to click a particular ad? And um, so it's using this model again, right? So using the models, I can see for a given zip code, uh, what is the probability they'll um, click that? And then I can have this best ad, which basically calls us a bunch of times, and well, it sees which one is the best. And now you can see why I hard coded this before, because I knew that um, I have those names in this dictionary, so I can just say down here, I can say ads.keys. Right, so I'm going to loop over all of those different ads, and then um, and then the model is going to tell me, well, what is the probability for each of them? So I'm going to save this for a moment, and uh, the last step, right, which I'm not doing yet is eventually I will change this. Right, it's still random. So I just want for, to, for a moment, see kind of how well we do with um, random. And so I guess before it was 19.2, let, um, let me run my application again. I'm running the grocery store application over here. And then here, I am going to run with visits too. So I'm gonna run that and that should take a moment, but hopefully I get a bunch of clicks there. And I guess it was 21.8. Hopefully with a smarter model, I may be able to beat that. So I'm gonna head over here now, instead of doing the random choice, I am gonna say, I can just use that function I had, right? What is the best ad for somebody in that zip code? All right, so I'm gonna say add name equals get best ad. And then I already have their zip code, which I think, if I recall, has to be an integer. Remember when I ever pull something out of request.args, it's a string. Here I needed an integer. So I'm going to save this. 
And I'm going to run this again. Well, let me let me restart this over here. I'm going to rerun the grocery website. And and now I'm going to run this again. Hopefully we can beat 21.8. Oh, and I see I have some sort of problem here. End comes. Incomes is not defined. Where is that? That's line 19 of grocery.py. So let me go to line 19. And uh, that's right here, incomes. And that makes a lot of sense. Remember, I had all this data from the census, and the probability you had to get these features, right? These additional features like, well, what is the uh, mean and median income for each area? And, and so to do that, I had this other data frame called incomes. And I forgot to copy that over, but we had that here as well, right? It was just this thing. It was from incomes.csv. So I have to have that as well, right? I need all this data to be able to make my prediction. So let me try this again. Let me clear this and run it. And we'll see now. Remember, I think we're trying to beat 21.8. So let's try running this. And we're beating it, right? So now we've increased the probability a little bit that we'll have somebody clicking the ad from 21.8 to 23.6, and presumably we'll get a little more money uh, from that. Now, now of course, you can imagine other ways we'd want to do it. It's not just the probability that they'll click on an ad, but, well, how much do we profit when somebody clicks on the ad? So maybe you could imagine uh, multiplying the probability somebody clicks on an ad by uh, maybe the profit per that particular item and in that way, you could be maximizing the expected uh, profit from these clicks. But anyway, we did that basic idea. And, uh, and we did this kind of complicated example. It's, uh, what made it tricky is that we had to collect the data ourselves. And then we were doing the model training in one Python process, which was the Jupyter Notebook. And when we were all done, we had some objects, some SK learn models that could help us make predictions. And we had to get those objects from one Python process into another one. Right? We had to get them from our notebook over into our Flask website. And to do that, we had to save them uh, to a file via Pickle. And then that worked fine. And we could actually start making smarter decisions on our website based on that. One last thing to just show that it's really working is if I head over here and if I enter a zip code like that, uh, now it's predicting I want wine and it should always predict I want wine. It's not randomly choosing it anymore based on that zip code. It thinks that uh, that I must be a wine drinker. Um, anyway, so hopefully that helps in terms of how you can use models to increase profit on real websites.